Hi, my name is Jerry Bird. I'm the Director of Football Operations for the Jets. The Jets is a youth football uh, program that covers third grade through eighth grade. We are a feeder program for Loyola College Prep. Uh, Stephen Jeter is the head coach at, at Loyola. Him and his staff run the Tony Franklin system, and we do the same thing with the feeder program, the Jets. Uh, today we're going to talk about the mesh, uh, the mesh concept. 92, 92 is, is the play call. Uh, the concept is, is mesh. Uh, the progression for the quarterback is, is down here at the bottom, high, Play side mesh, play side back, back side mesh, back side back. That's a lot of words, but if you get your quarterback uh, and, and get in the habit of saying, um, what's 92? 92 mesh. And get the quarterback in the habit of saying, high, play side mesh, play side back, back side mesh, back side back. Once you get him repeating that and thinking that and seeing that, you're going to uh, be a lot more successful um, on this play. Now, the mesh occurs with the Y, the Y receiver, and, and the X receiver. The Y is go, going to be the, the top of the mesh, and I'll explain, I'll explain this. The, the X is going to be the bottom mesher. Okay? Now, this is going to take place no deeper than between 6 and 4 yards. 6 and 4 yards um, on the mesh. On the mesh. Okay, now Z is going to run a corner route, F is going to run a swing, okay, and uh, H is going to run a shoot, okay, a, a shoot route, all right. Now, let's talk about how, how these routes match up with this. Well, it's easy to see that this is the high route. This corner route is the high route. Z, Z always has, has the high route. Now, when we talk about play side, we're talking about to the high route side. So this is the high route side because Z is, is to the right in this formation. So this is the play side mesh being run by X, being run by X. This is the play side back. Y is the back side mesh. And H is the backside back, okay? And we consider H to be the back because many times in our offense, H will line up in the backfield, okay? Now, let's talk a little more in, in depth about the mesh. Again, we said it's between six and four yards. The quarterback will not, will not, as he's taking a peek at this, uh, as he's taking this first look right here uh, on the high route, run by the Z, which is the corner, that gives X and Y time to, uh, to uh, mesh up right here. Now, X and Y are not going to look for the ball until they cross, they cross the center. They cross the center. And what we, tell, what we tell Y and X that if it's man, okay, if it's man that they are going to continue running, okay, and get a little depth right here. If it's man, they're going to continue running and get a little depth. If it is zone, if it's zone coverage, they're going to find grass, and they're going to sit down in the first grass past the center, okay? That could be right here, okay? It could be right here. It depends on the drops of these linebackers. It depends on these linebackers and their drops. But they're against zone, they're going to sit down. They're going to sit down in grass, okay? Sit down in grass. Now, how do... X and Y know if it's man or if it's zone. Well, if this X has a corner, okay, that's trailing him, he will be able, X, as he's running across, he will be able to look at Y. He will be able to look at Y. And if Y has, let's say, a strong safety, okay, that's running with him, X will be able to see that Y has, has a man covering him, Okay, and so he will know that his man covers. That, that's, that's one way. Uh, uh, you know, if you're in doubt as you run your mesh, look across and see if there's someone trailing the, the mesh receiver that's coming opposite of you. Okay, and again, it's important to sit down in grass. Now, against zone coverage, against zone coverage, let's say we have a backer in this area and we have a backer 
in this area. The quarter, he sits down in grass. The quarterback wants to throw to this side because this backer is a little bit closer okay, to this receiver than this backer. So he's going to try to put the ball in this direction. The receiver catches the ball and then turns up the field just like that. If this backer is out here, the quarterback is going to want to place the ball on the outside, in which case the receiver catches the ball and now he turns this way. Okay, so hopefully the, hopefully the quarterback can put the ball on the opposite side of the near, you know, on the opposite side of the nearest defender and the, the receiver can make the catch and turn. If it's on the inside, he catches the ball and turns up. Okay, now this is, uh, this can also be run out of blue. Okay, blue puts H back here. Okay, that was the H formation that you just saw with that's ace. Blue puts the ace back in the backfield. Okay? And one thing you can do here is also you could tag wheel. And now H will run a wheel. Okay? And when you tag this, that doesn't become, that's not the number five read anymore. That's, that's, you're, you're looking to this side first. You're looking to, uh, Maybe take a peek here and then hopefully get the defense thinking you're going to throw the ball to this side and then look back and throw the wheel route. And that is the 92 mesh.